I'm going to share some tips with you on triangle pose and then taking that into half moon. If you have a black handy, grab one. Um, if you don't have a black, you can grab a soup can or a water bottle or like a sturdy book or block. So we'll start in our triangle pose. So come just a few inches away from the wall. Step your right foot forward. Take your feet about a three to four foot um, stance apart from one, one another. The back heel is turned out a little bit more than the toes. Then take your left hand to your left hip and then start to reach the right hand forward. So as you reach the right hand forward, feel that right hip pull back and underneath you. And then ground down through the back heel and the pinky edge of the back foot. So this leg is nice and strong. We're not bending that knee, we're really firming that leg down. So reach, reach, reach forward, and then take your hand to your shin or maybe to a block. Press gently down into that block and then spin the chest open. So feel the chest open, the shoulders stack one on top of the other. You can keep the left hand on your hip or start to lift that arm up and into the air. From here to take this into our half moon, you can bring your left hand back to your hip and then take that block out in front of you. So we want a nice um, wide base here. So you don't want to put the block straight in front of your toes. You want to take that block out in front of you and over to the right a little bit. So you have a nice wide base. Make sure the toes are facing forward. A lot of times the toes kind of want to track in. If you might be lacking a little bit of strength in the outer thigh. So keep the toes facing forward. Hand comes to the block and then press off the back foot. Start to lift the back leg. And then with the wall behind you, you can open up into the wall. So try to stack the hips one on top of the other. So opening that top hip. My top leg is super strong and engaged here. So my toes are facing the side of the room. Pressing my heel back, like I'm trying to press my heel into the wall over there. And if somebody came and pressed on this top leg, it wouldn't move. I'm grounding down through my standing foot, firming that outer upper right thigh back and in. And then again, opening the hips and then stacking the shoulders one on top of the other. You can keep your gaze down at your bottom hand or look to the side or the most advanced gaze is to look up towards the top hand but try to not dump all your weight down into your foot and into that bottom hand. Gently root down to rise and lift up. So feel the lift in the pose. And then you can bring your left hand back to your hips. Slowly bend into your front knee and stop your left foot back. And then make sure to try on the other side. 